Have you ever opened up the terminal, looked at it, and been scared? Me too. Because when you look at it, it's scary. <laughs> I will delete all your files. There's no colors. It's all bland. You're like, am I going to mess up my computer? Is something crazy going to happen? Not anymore. Today, we're going to take your terminal and we're going to turn it into something that's beautiful, something that's easy to read, and it's going to help you out with some auto syntax, and it's just going to make your experience a whole lot better. So we can open up terminal by hitting command space and typing in terminal and hitting enter. Every piece of code or anything you have to do is going to be in the description. So you can just find that and follow along with me. It'll all be labeled for you. So we are going to input this first piece of code and this is going to install Oh my ZSH. So what Oh my Zush is, it is a framework for ZSH, the terminal language, and you can do some great things. You can install plugins and some other stuff and it's open source. So it is very good. The next piece of code that we're going to input into our terminal is to install a theme called power level 10 K and it's going to be able to allow us to basically customize the entire look of the terminal. So just going to input that code hit the enter button and it is going to download and install. Awesome. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and install some of the plugins that we're going to want. So I have two plugins for us. One is the auto suggestions that I just input right there. And this next one is syntax highlighting and that is already done. Okay. Our next order of business is to install a little thing called micro and this is going to allow us to edit documents inside the terminal and it's you know got a nice layout and everything so you're going to input that code and then it's going to ask you for your computer password as you type it in it is not actually going to show it so uh, you're just going to have to type it in and then hit enter and you can see you can run it with dot slash micro so we want to now open up our zsh uh, config file so we are going to type dot slash micro space uh squiggly sign dash dot zshrc and you can see that our file is now opened up and we can see that a lot of things are commented out. This little hashtag symbol uh, means that that line is a comment. So the computer won't actually read that line. If you uncomment it, you can see that it is now colorful and that it is going to read it. So we're going to make some edits to this document so that our terminal can be set up how we want it. So the first thing we want to do is set the ZSH theme to our power level 10k so you can go ahead and copy and paste exactly that right there into your terminal as well once that's all done we're going to scroll down until we see the line that says enable correction equals true and that line is going to be commented out we want to boom uncomment it so that the computer reads it as we want that to be happening and then we can scroll all the way down until we find the plugins so right now the only plugin is git but we can go ahead and replace that with our zsh, ZSH uh, auto suggestions and the syntax highlighting so that is all we need to do with this file now we are going to hit control q not command q but control q and then it is going to ask us if we want to save changes to this document and just hit the Y button and then it will save. And then we are all done. And the last thing we want to do before the fun stuff is we have to download nerd fonts. And this is going to just work really well. Um, a lot of the themes and stuff we used have a dependency on these nerd fonts because it's going to, you know, make everything look nice. So, so you're just going to click downloads and you're going to scroll down until you see Fira Mono um, nerd font. And that's the one that we want for Mac OS. So just click download and click allow. 
and you can find it easily in your finder window by going over to the downloads and then clicking the little spotlight uh, finder button and it'll pop right up. So we can open up this folder and the one that you're going to want to install is the Fura Mono Regular Nerd Font complete. I've already got it installed, so but all you need to do to install it is just double click and then the window that pops up um, will ask you to install it. Now that that's installed, we can close that window and we're going to want to open up our terminal preferences. We are set to the basic as default, so we're going to we can just keep that the way it is. And then uh, we are going to go to the font and we are going to change our font to the Fura Mono Nerd Font Regular. And that's it. Boom. Close out of those windows. All right. So the last thing we need to do is we can uh, hit Command Q to quit out of our terminal. And then what we're going to want to do is just open it back up. And you can see that the power level 10K configuration wizard pops up. If it pops up, you did great. You also need to make sure that this diamond is showing. And that means that the font is installed correctly. If it's not, something went wrong. But yeah, so it's just going to ask you, are these graphics the way that they should be looking? So for me, I'm going to hit Y because yes, it does. Does this look like a lock? Yes, it does. Hit Y again. Um, yes, that looks like the Debian logo and all of those icons fit there. Now we get to the actual design customization for what we want. So I'm just going to choose my own personal preferences, but you guys could do whatever you feel is groovy for your terminal. I personally love the look of the classic, so I'm going to hit two i think that's pretty clean and i will do the unicode which is number one as for the prompt um kind of i do like four it's a little too dark for me though so i think i'm gonna go with three and i will have the 24 hour time format and i like the look of the angled one now this is talking about the uh the head which is at the very edge and I like the sharp one. I do enjoy having a flat tail and we will do two lines. I don't care for having a prompt connection. That's just the middle, the little middle line there. Uh, so I'm just going to go disconnected. And for this one, I will hit uh, three. I'll go on the right and I would prefer to have it a little spaced out. So I'm going to go two on that one. Um, so now you can choose, you know, how many icons you want to be showing up. For me, I'm just going to go a few icons, but you could definitely have all the fancy, you know, little uh, Apple logo and all that stuff there. So for me, I'm just going to hit one and the prompt flow I will take as a two. So it's fluent. And now it's going to ask you if you want to enable transient prompt. Basically makes it so you don't have all the information show up on every single command you do. Makes it a little bit neater and more uh, concise. And for the instant prompt mode, I'm going to hit one for the recommended verbose settings. And then we can just apply the changes by hitting Y. And there we go. <laughs> now we are all set. And there we go. We are all set with oh my ZSH and the power level 10K theme, which is great. And if you're done configuring and you want to change something, you can always type in P10K configure, and this is going to be bring up the configuration. You can also quit by just doing Q and you can clear anything you were working on by hitting command K. So it's just going to clean up your terminal if you need to just start fresh. But the cool thing is about some of the stuff that we installed is, you know, as soon as you start typing P10K configure, it it puts it up as an auto suggestion. So you can just hit the arrow to the right and you can actually auto fill exactly uh, what you wanted to type in which is really nice. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it that thumbs up. And if you want to do more cool stuff with your Mac, make sure to subscribe. We're putting out new videos on all things like customizations and gaming on the Mac, and it's going to be a fun time. So if you want to come along with that journey, 
hit the subscribe button. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.